Hello everybody, uh, this is Mike Darklighter bringing you a video of a different kind uh, today. This was originally just going to be for a couple of friends, but thought it might be helpful to um, anyone who out there who's curious on how to import custom eye textures. Um, I could do one about uh, custom uh, textures, you know, like the skins and all that, but I figured I'd do the eye texture one first since that one gets a little tricky and complicated. Um, so, right here we have Tails with his uh, default eye textures. And for a lot of people, they look kind of dead. <laughs> so, um, we're going to see if we could uh, get Tails to have some more lively eyes. So, in order to do this, you're going to need um, two programs. You're going to need GIMP. Uh, I'll link both of these programs in the description. Uh, GIMP is free and you'll also need to pick up the the uh, VTF plugin so they can read texture files and export them. You also need a VTF Edit, it's another free program and um, this is just in case you can't see the textures on GIMP uh, but we'll get to that in a bit. So to get started you want to open up your GIMP and once you have the VTF plugin mounted you'll want to navigate to your textures so we're going to want to find uh, Tails eye texture so in order to find it you have to go to your steam directive steam apps common source filmmaker game go to your workshop and materials and scroll down to models, Apoc models, Sonic Generations, and look for Modern Tales. Now the texture you're looking for is Character Tales I Diff. This one down here. Character underscore Tales underscore I underscore Diff. And you want to make sure that you get the VTF, not the VMT, but the VTF. So you can just click it and drag it over to GIMP. Now we see here that um, the uh, texture, we can't see it. It's just a big blank slate. Um, I do not know exactly what it's called uh, under this um, when it comes out like this, but I do know a way to get around it so that we can edit it. So you can close that for now. And this is where we'll need VTF edit. So again, with that same file, go ahead and drag it here. And you can actually go on and switch off the layer mask so you can see that you have the actual eye texture. Go ahead and export the eye texture. Export it to any old folder that you can find it easily. Just go ahead and save it. And then you're going to go to Tools and Convert Folder. Now for your input folder, just find that folder that you um, exported the eye to. And for the output folder, you can just put it as the same one, or whatever, wherever it's easiest for you to find. So go ahead and click Convert. Make sure it's to VTF. Depending on how many files you have there, it'll uh, take some time. Go ahead and find your folder that you had um, exported it to and look for the texture that we're looking for here the same one character tails i it'll give you a vmt and a vtf when you convert it but all you're concerned about is the vtf so go ahead and drag it over to gimp now we see we have a layer mask and the eye texture underneath you can switch off the layer mask and see that we have the eye so now we can edit it now, for eye textures, um, you can find them um, either you know somebody or you're able to make your own eye textures, or sometimes they're on DeviantArt. Some people post them and they allow you to use them. This is an eye texture that was made by Faina Lotia, and we're going to use this as an example. So we're going to import the blue eye as Tails' new default. Now, for eye textures, it gets a little tricky because the layer usually isn't at the same scale. So first when you bring in your um, new eye, you're going to want to go to layer, scale the layer. 
make sure that it's 512 by 512. And a little uh, quick note, all textures need to be a power of 2. 512 by 512, 1024, whichever. But they have to be a power of 2 if you're going to import them. Now you can um, switch off the layer mask and go back to your new eye and just mess with the opacity just so that you could see how it lines up with the old eye. Now you, it's important that you want the new eye to be the exact same scale as the old. And tails fortunately is easy enough for us. So what you gotta do is select the whole eye, copy it, you can delete that now. Make sure you have your layer mask enabled and go ahead and paste. Now you might not see much of a difference but know that if you follow those exact steps the new eye is now underneath the layer mask. Just to demonstrate I'll disable the layer mask and there you go. You have the new eye. But you have to make sure that you have the layer mask enabled. If you were to import a, a, an eye texture, at least for the Sonic models, uh, without a layer mask, their specific layer mask, um, the eye comes out faded. And it's not really a good look. So go ahead and export it. It should have it under the same name. And once again, navigate to the Modern Tales folder, export, and replace. Now we can open up our Source Filmmaker and see if it worked. So if you already have it opened, um, just go ahead and go to your console and type down mat underscore reload all materials. Depending on your session, it may take a while. Alright, once it's done, just move the work camera a bit, and we see that Tails now has his new shiny eyes. Much more lively. And there you have it. For different characters, it varies. Some of them you may have to uh, mess with the scale of the eye for a bit, because their layer masks differ. And not all of them, sadly, are as easy to do as Tails. Sometimes you have to mess with the iris itself in order for it to scale in properly. But that's uh, the basics of how to uh, import the eye textures. Hopefully this was helpful to any of you who were looking to get some new eye textures for the Sonic models. And uh, perhaps next time I'll go over the default textures. It's the same basic concept, just don't have to worry about the layer mask.